The sense of ease and peace is experienced. So, what I've done here is I've got the steering wheel cover on, and um, you've got to just get it on the steering wheel and line everything up. I apologize for the light. Um, the car's in the garage and it's extremely windy outside so I don't want to do this outside um, but anyway I've got it out here and here are the other little goodies that I took a scissor so I can cut the thread I'm not going to use the tape I don't recommend using the tape when I did the Audis one I used the tape and it actually gets in the way of you completing the installation properly we got two bits of thread and um, I am going to use the red thread because I think the red thread is going to look really really cool and then the instructions which just shows you how to start um, threading I've done this before so I, I really have an idea what to do um, and I think the hardest part of the threading is actually going to be this portion here because you can see there's threading that has to start over there and then come this way around now this has to go around the back of the wheel and what do we have in the way here we've got this uh, paddle shifter and you can see here is more threading that's required so this is going to be extremely difficult to thread um, and I don't quite know I'm going to get that right but I'm going to try doing this portion first and um, and then bring the thread around and then do the top portion over here so let's get to this and get started and I've actually decided I'm going to start with this difficult portion here first um, to try and get this thread done um, behind the wheel here I'm busy threading right now and you can see I've just done this first portion now that section over there will actually be tucked in behind the uh, aluminum portion over there and you can see the threading is actually um, pretty tight there I'm making sure I'm, I'm putting it on really really tight so that it can't move because I don't have the tape on but it's much easier to work without the tape I'll be honest um, this over here is the most difficult portion as I pointed out so I'll be getting there shortly and then I'll try and show you guys what I'm actually going to be doing there in order to make this work start with this difficult portion over here there you can see I've um, knotted the other one up so I'm starting with the difficult portion here which has this flappy bit over here that has to bend all the way around and I'm a little bit concerned that I might not have enough leather to tuck in here so it's going to be a matter of pulling and tugging at it um, but what you got to do is after making a knot in your your um, your thread. But just push your needle behind the thread um, 
So you can see I've just pushed it in there and that's to create your start point so that you have um, a knot, a really really good knot um, that, that's going to hold while you're busy tightening the thread as you go along. So it's very very important to do that. Once you've pulled your um, thread through that hole that you've made there you are going to stick it through the first thread like that and pull. I've got a lot of thread here sorry I'm not I'm concentrating on my <laughs> my knot so you've got your knot now and you've got your thread through the first um, goodie over there now what you got to do is in order to to make it grab this thread when you're putting it th pulling it through you got to do it again this is only at the start okay so you don't have to do this with every um, with every thread but now we've got a really really good thread there and you then have to get it behind your uh, flappy panel thing so so you you have to thread it against this portion over there which bends around the back because these two actually have to meet at the back here and it's going to be a difficult one this but I'm going to persevere and do it and then I'll show you how it looks when I've managed to get it done. Right I just want to show you guys so I've, I've put the thread through the other section and I've pulled it through so this is really what you're going to be dealing with you're going to be dealing with this flappy thing that comes around the back but it joins up with this one over there and when you pull the thread tight it's just going to match up and come around the back of the wheel and that is exactly what you want now as you go along you've got to keep pulling the thread because you'll see here I've made this thread nice and tight you can't even see the join of the leather there and um, you just got to keep pulling tight as you go along and don't worry to stretch the leather the leather is it, I mean leather stretches um, so don't be afraid to stretch it as you go along so that you've got a nice even feel god this really feels great feels fantastic I'm loving this so um, I'm gonna keep going now a lot of you will be wondering what do you do when you get to the end so what you do is you actually just thread the needle like I've got it stuck here through the leather itself and make a knot because that portion you're actually going to tuck in behind the aluminium trim here so you're not really going to see that um, so all your knots and your loops and stuff will be hidden and out of view so that's the way to, to end your, your thread so I guess if you're not comfortable fitting this yourself you, you probably could take it to an auto trimmer and have them fit it for you um, and you can see this really really looks nice and I must say it looks pretty good I did struggle with uh, these portions here you got to be careful that when you tuck in this portion here your um, cruise control button tends to get stuck so you just got to keep you know getting your trim tool in behind you lifting this panel up and tucking it back down to make sure it's really good and your cruise control button will work good again and shouldn't get stuck so um, what I did is I also put a little bit of glue on the back over here I put some of this plastic uh, clear on the back of um, of the leather here because there's no way to tuck it in let me just get my flashlight so what I did is I actually um, it's not too bad you don't really see behind the steering wheel anyway and I'm just glad with the feel because it really really has a great feel to it um, it's, it's pretty awesome I love the feel of the wheel so I highly recommend doing this mod to your car and I also just want to mention that there was some excess uh, leather behind you I had to cut it off with a scissor so you know there are little pieces here from the back that I cut off because you can't tuck it in behind the wheel so 
you just got to cut it away there's really nothing you can do there so I cut mine away and I've glued it to the back and this the nice thing with this plastic glue is you can easily get it off um, you know if I decide to take this off one day which I probably wouldn't do but if I did it's easily it's easy to get it off so thank you for watching please like subscribe and share and uh, stay tuned for my next video